Hello everybody and welcome to my e-lesson. I'm your guru and today I'm gonna tell you how to calculate percentages in Microsoft Excel. Alright, I've taken an example of certain marks over here. Uh, we have total marks 500 and marks achieved 200. No, 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 that's too low. Let, let's keep them something high, huh? 450. Huh? That's something that suits me. Or even if, if we can say my marks, yeah, yeah they would be around 495. Yeah, that, that's right. That's yeah. <laughs> You won't believe I have terrible handwriting, terrible handwriting. If I write, my teachers won't ever give me any marks. <laughs> so, 200 would have been the right marks for me. <laughs> All right. All right. So, we'll keep it 495. That's what I am. Huh? Good, good mark. Good, good student. <laughs> All right. So, how do we calculate percentages? Well, in mathematics, how do we do that? Uh, we, to find out uh, the percentage uh, of something we need to divide that thing by the total all right so the marks achieved are 495 so that is how we'll do it is equal to this marks achieved divided excuse me divided by the total marks that could possibly have been achieved and press enter and you get 99 but this is 0 0.99 it doesn't say a percentage so what you can do is we can edit this formula we can press F2 and we can edit this formula and what we can do is we can multiply this result by 100 because percentages are always calculated in hundreds so we will multiply this by 100 and we'll get 99 so isn't that right 495 is 99 percent of 500 but still it doesn't have the percentage sign and this is also not very convenient there is also a very simpler way to do go about it that is is equal to total marks achieved divided by what could have possibly been achieved all right we get 0.99 now you see this percentage sign over here just click on this and you see it has converted so beautifully into percentages there is one more way of going about it you get this answer right click it go to format cells choose percentage and click on ok and here's your answer again isn't this nice? Yes, this is how it should be. Simple, easy. Now, if we change the marks, let's bring to the original 200. So, it's 40% or if we take it to 400, it becomes 80%. All right. So, uh, this file is available for free download on my website, myelesson.org. All right. So, until the next video, this is your guru signing off for the day. Have a wonderful day ahead. Happy Excel learning.